Welcome to No Closet Left Behind. I'm here with Nick, Justice, and Edward, and we are located right now in what neighborhood are we? Uptown Chicago? Uptown Chicago, and we are having our No Closet Left Behind podcast, and so we have come up with a variety of topics to chat about today, and uh, we're going to see if our hot takes are too spicy, or <laughs> what do you think, Justice? I'm just here for a good time. <laughs> No closet left behind. What happened? What? How did you get into the water? How does that collar fit on a fish? Why were you walking around an apartment? Yeah, I just showed how you walked it around the lake. Yeah, did you take it to the water for a walk? And then brought it back? Mark, Mark, Mark has a fish tank. Mark, Mark has a waterway in his home. Do you go hang out with people in fish tanks and you just put your fish in? I hang out with people. In there. <laughs> he has separation anxiety. This is literally gonna be like haunting you for the rest of my life. It's like that would have been better than skydiving to just see you walk in a damn fish. You. <laughs> Let's talk about the Senate twink. Oh my God! Wow, what a. If he wasn't dragging, it would be fishy. <laughs> what, what what do we know about the Senate twink? Who who's the most educated on this topic? Um, like that's basically I'm... all I know. Um, but honestly, good for him. I think you should create an account with that name so that he has to pay you for it. Though. Well, also, I, I think he I guess double could... penetrate for to really double down. I just like the memes of, like that people were making for it because it was like it was like Kamala Harris walking back in and they're just like oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of gays in DC know each other. And um, okay, who's a gay person who you, doesn't exactly. know like fifty percent of the gays in DC? Like every homosexual is like well linked to DC. We run this country, <laughs> sister city. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's a red flag if you meet a gay person and you have no mutuals in common. Like, I mean, if it's like a, a queer woman, right? Like. If, Different than, like, a gay male. Yeah. Um, but, like, if I meet another gay man and I have no mutuals in common with them, it's typically a red flag. Unless they only follow, like, a couple hundred people and they don't, like, use social media or something. I'm like, why don't you know Zero anyone posts. that I know? Anyone. Because that's how I would say... I would say you can use mutuals to kind of... Gauge. What is it? Gauge. It's yeah. like... Um, only like dating people who have TSA pre-check because the government's already done the background check for you. <laughs> the government's not good at background checks. Like, let's be real. Uh, yeah. There's, some, there's someone in my Twitter coming at me right now uh, in like the comments because I'm like taking the train from Miami to Orlando and they were like, you should fly. Ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. I made it like 10 minutes. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> well, I'm super excited. I've been wanting to take this train for a while and I've never had a reason. And I, I, I took a bus to Miami and now I get to take, I mean, a private high speed rail back. And they price it pretty harsh. But, you know, I'm excited and this is a really good way to end the trip a relaxing train ride home. Good evening. Welcome aboard Bright Orange for the safe. So I've made it to the Orlando airport on Brightline, only to find out that Uber's home are $100. And so I decided that the only thing that I could do was rent a car, drive home, and then return the car when I come back to the airport, therefore saving probably a hundred and something dollars in Ubers. <sighs> it's so stupid. Why would you build the train to the airport and not connect it to anything? So, the only way that I can go places, I can't even leave the airport. Stand clear of doors and hold on to handrails. The doors are now closing. <sighs> only to find out that apparently... Please stand clear of doors and hold on to handrails. The doors are now closing. Only to find out that apparently, the only way to get to the, the city of Orlando... The is now departing. Please hold on to handrails. I give up. The next... they, they were like telling me that it's like basically the same time and all this stuff. And I was like, well, no, flying is faster. I'm just taking the train because I want to. Um, he's like, no, flying isn't faster. You've got to wait in line with the TSA and brah, and get there and brah, and da da da. And I'm like, I don't wait in line at TSA. Like I show up to the airport 30 minutes before my flight boards and I, which 
last one on the plane. Yeah. You have so much less anxiety than I do. I I listen <laughs> to that rule. They're like, you there? they're like, you're supposed to arrive two hours early. And I'm like, oh no, I am only going to be there an hour and 45 minutes early. I hope that I make my flight. I'm terrified. Yeah, I've only missed one flight in my life. I've probably flown a few hundred times, but... I only missed it because I decided to Uber to the airport instead of taking the train. And so we got stuck in traffic on the way to O'Hare when, in reality, I could take the train and I would have skipped it all. So, moral of the story, try to live in a city with a airport train. (laughs) Airport train. Airport train. I don't think DC has an airport train. No. 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 I feel like they do have an airport train. Well, 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 I took, I flew, when I went to D.C., I flew out of Maryland one time, so that was a whole, like, you can fly into D.C. pretty cheap by going into the Maryland-Baltimore airport, whatever that is, and then you have to, like, take a train and go into D.C., and it's fine, but... Speaking of Maryland, D.C., where the hell is Potomac? <laughs> I have so many Potomac, Maryland? Uh, is yeah. it, like, a city, or is it, like, a province? Like, what is it? It's... So there's the Potomac region, but then there's also... I love the house. I love y'all. Yes. But (laughs) Potomac is like a town. It's not really a city because like it doesn't like... Nobody's doing business out of Potomac. Like is your address say Potomac or like... Yes. Okay. There's a... There's an area code. Potomac, Maryland is an unincorporated community in a census-designated place in Montgomery County. Ca- I, I can I should not be using my southern accent. Um, I'm from Orlando. It's also not good. No, it is not. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I love that Florida's not actually, like, the South. <laughs> it's a fever dream. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think of Florida? Being that I'm from Florida, and it's uh, I, I mention it fairly frequently, and it comes up, and... I almost die every time I go there. I hate it. I... Cannot imagine anything good coming out of Florida. Me. I cannot imagine anything good coming out of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> you you had your chance to like fix that statement. You wanna... I think he knows. I cannot Can't imagine, imagine. <laughs> anything good coming out of Florida. <laughs> I enjoy you, but I'm not saying you're good. Like I like orange juice. <laughs> Orange juice is pretty good. Most of I hate raisins. They they also produce all the raisins. Fuck that. Raisins. Do raisins use a lot of water? Yeah. Probably they're they're, they're grapes. Dry. Yeah. So I don't. I don't no, but like, grapes not like grapes almonds. use water. Sorry, that was just like a side thought. Aren't grapes like eighty percent water? Yeah, grapes are mostly water. Like watermelon? No. Yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of like watermelon. Like it's. I've never heard that about grapes. Have you ever yeah. bitten? Have you ever bitten Have into you ever a grape? Eaten a grape? And yes. <laughs> you notice how it's it's normally not dry. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, my my guessing ability is perfect. The amount of times I estimate and just a percentage of water in grapes. Yeah, grapes are eighty two percent water. I guess eighty percent. Wait, so are we more water is than grapes? Is that your are? Roman Empire? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, but like, isn't. Aren't humans more water than grapes, then? No. How many... What's the percentage? What, what percentage? Because yeah. I think people are, like, a wild amount of water. Humans are 60% water, so you're not know. you're not at grape level We're not yet. A grape. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a grape. I don't have enough water in me to be a grape. <laughs> it's okay. Just, like, don't go in a pool for too long, and you're, like, when your toes turn into raisins. Prunes. Exactly. <laughs> so we don't seem that far off from grapes because we also get all pruny and like raisiny. Imagine if your whole body did that. That'd be weird. Yeah. Well, isn't it meant to like give you like an adaptive advantage to like grip things in the water? Yeah, they've like done multiple studies and they literally that. can't figure out why it happens. Yeah. I think it's just like, I don't think it's a, a natural selection type thing. I think it's just something that happens. I know? think it's kind of one of those things where it's just like, not everything's about us. Cute little girly things. You know? Yeah. It's like, prune. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a prune. <laughs> Speaking of prunes, Sunday's at Queen. Uh, what, what does that, that have to do with prunes? <laughs> Nothing. I just wanted to have a terrible transition. I was saying, I'm glad someone else called it out. Because I was like, what? Because <laughs> I was like, it, it, it's not Sunday's at the nursing home, in which I would yeah. totally <laughs> understand a prune. <laughs> I actually don't know what a prune is. It, um, I know that it 
helps old people to poo. Would you think it's a fruit? Fruit? I don't know if I've ever had a prune. I, like, I don't think I have either. Was at risk? I wouldn't guess what it looked like. It, it looks like a giant raisin. It is. Prunes are giant raisins. That prune. <laughs> prune. Um, oh my god! I keep yawning. Yeah. Well, I don't know why I keep yawning. You're not going to be invited back if you keep yawning. <laughs> this is a serious yawning. professional I know. podcast. Well, Sorry. also. <laughs> <laughs> like Sundays at Queen makes sense due to the fact that the only way that you're going to fill a club on a Sunday is using homosexuality straight people cannot fill up a club on Sunday they can fill up a sports bar but like if you want a nighttime action straight people aren't going to give that to you straight people are not going to provide that so like yeah. That is why they're like, the gays can have it. Justice, you, you know the most about like clubbing and all that stuff out of the three of us. Four of us here, I would imagine. What makes you say that? When you were a promoter. And you, I think, have gone out more than the three <laughs> of us combined. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's, it is. What, what, what is your insight into? Well, why it's insight? Sundays at Queen. I like it. It's, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> can we like, stop for a second? Like... I think we should just end it, honestly. Sorry, I'm like, no, you're fine. I also... No closet left behind.